Hey, what is up? Welcome back, Design Squad. To you as a UX designer, or, or as a customer experience designer, or as a service designer, or a marketer, or a product manager, or any other person would benefit from knowing some visual design skills, generally producing better quality digital assets. Now, that's why I wanted to bring this app to you, because I know a lot of followers of mine who are actually, you know, deep diving into UX design from not having any design background whatsoever. And so to them, this is going to be a useful tool to have as it is to me, for example, you know, I've been designing things for over a decade, UI stuff, interactive design, digital design, you name it, left and right. So end to end, and I don't really need to use this type of stuff, but I still do. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. But this tool is called Canva is based on a lot of different super well crafted templates right off the bat when you land on a page it tells you hey do you want to do a presentation do you want to make a YouTube thumbnail do you want to do photo collage blog banner Instagram posts and it has a crap load different templates from graphic design let's say making a business card to YouTube channel art and something like that and I'm, I'm guilty of that for example if you see one of my let's say projects here on canva thumbnails from my actual noob to master series and you know why because i can easily replicate and reuse the same template so i don't have to open a new thing i can do it on a go if i'm let's say using my laptop where i don't have any graphic processing tools or apps or even my phone i can literally just duplicate this bit rearrange those different graphics retype a text, for example, something, something, and I have a new thumbnail, which you can download and upload to YouTube and do it immediately. So for me, as a designer, it gives a lot of freedom, because I can also pick one of the existing templates, I can upload my asset, as you can see, I have quite a few now, just drag them drop and just rearrange. And if you have some design background, of course, this becomes so much easier, you can then just apply your skills and make a new mock up just like I did, let's say now, the good bit about Canva is that it's almost like what you see is what you get environment because the marketers are jumping on it, the product designers are jumping on it, the, the graphic designers who do this for a living are jumping on it and charging clients to do this stuff in the browser. I can change the type, I can change all these different options, almost like a simplified sketch or Figma. The best bit is that I could immediately use their predefined stock photos, I can add my unsplash photos, I can search for millions of different assets, I can search for elements, which I tend to do a lot, find this sticker, add it to my thumbnail, and boom, I have a thumbnail. Of course, if it's a flat image, it wouldn't move a lot of different bits, which I can just immediately reuse like charts, icons. And now imagine the application of this tool, because it has thousands of predefined, well crafted design elements, you can add a lot of different backgrounds and so forth. Imagine the application of it. Imagine what these type of tools, which are super easy to design new stuff is going to do to our industry It's going to totally remake it. that notion of everybody becoming a designer is, is becoming more and more closer, we get to it much more closer. As an example, let's say myself right now, I'm not very a hands on designer, I'm more of a manager heading up a few different projects, and I'm overlooking strategy. So to me, let's say crafting a deck, which I can just pick up out of a list is much easier because it's already pre-designed. I could take pride in design as myself, of course, but if your time is super limited and you have the skill, it's so much easier just to adapt what I have there, for example, and I'm good to go because I can then make different slides and redesign this as I seem fit and so forth. And in the end, I might end up with like it was designed by, let's say, pro graphic designer, which it was, it's just used. You can just create so much in this tool. I like the simplicity again of it and being just able to design everything on the go, then immediately showcasing that extracting it and using it, let's say where I need to use it or something like that. So there is a lot of different function to this, there is a lot of different application to it. And I would highly recommend this tool for anyone. It doesn't matter if you take pride in your work and you like to spend time, sometimes you might not be able to. So why not to use something which gives you a boost, a shortcut, and there's going to be of course, concerns that these tools are going to replace you. But chances are, if you're skilled, things like that are not ever going to replace you because this is just a support. This is something which you can just, you know, immediately update, print out, that let's say as a banner or download it as, as you seem fit as you can see I can publish it to Facebook 
I can download it as a PNG, JPEG, PDF, and then use it, embed it, add it to my website, to my apps, whatever I feel like. Check the Canva out if you haven't done so already. Share it with your friends who are not designers because they're gonna appreciate what you do even more. Because I believe and once we start to fiddle around and they understand that, hey, there's a lot of thought behind it and that hacking different templates has to be done meaningfully, they're gonna appreciate your work even more so. But it's also a tool to keep in your own arsenal because it's gonna save you load of time.